Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You have to excuse the traffic. All right, so on to bagging up this wax dirt, which I didn't really get into how we got it to this stage. So you can look up the formula online for how much wax to how much dirt, but you need to make sure your dirt is dry before you put the wax in there. And a good way to do that is whatever way, be it crock pot, the sun on top of the stove, you're going to heat up your soil for your wax. You need to allow that soil to cook there, possibly with a little lid on there so you can tell when the condensation's out of it, before you start to mix in your wax. Now, I've made wax dirt many different ways, wood stoves, propane stoves, every every way I can imagine. Uh, crock pots is probably the best if you're just needing a small amount and you are kind of crunch for time. It doesn't take a lot of tending. So maybe this winter if we run out of wax dirt, we will post how I do that. But all of that usually starts with robbing someone's canning supplies for some paraffin wax. But that stuff's pricey and you have to grind it. So, know that is a bit of a process. So once you get some dirt, you do want to sift it before you start this process just to get any weirdness out of there and get it down to an even classified size so that the wax can take evenly. Uh, the cool thing about this solar oven is I've made solar ovens before to harvest beeswax out of used frames. Uh, you can kind of use the tarp so you don't have to chase the dirt around as much. You can pile it up in the middle. So, alright, this is one of the steps of making wax dirt and uh, we're going to continue this process until we're out of wax and then we're going to focus on drying out some peat moss and then we're going to focus on drying out as much dirt as possible before trapping season. Catch you later.